Hello everyone, this is Pachuca from 911 Productions, Twitch.tv, and and on DeviantArt, you know me as It's Pachuca, but yeah. Today I'll be showing you how to essay style. Right now you'll see me make the canvas 5000 pickle width. I make mine really big so it becomes like um, really clear. You don't really have to do this if you don't want to, but it's how I do it. I was just doing a multiply layer on this so I could see before I line art. To do this, you gotta learn how to use the pen tool. To add another one, just move the mouse right in the middle and hold control while you click, it'll change into that little white icon you see there, like that little white mouse. That you can use to move your freaking outline and everything all correctly. Sorry if I sound bored, but yeah, it's my first tutorial and I'm not that good at it as you can tell already. But anywho, it is going super fast right now because I have sped it up so it saves some time. So it wouldn't be like, what, over an hour long? Because this took forever to do. But yeah, I'll just basically line art parts of it. Just to show you, maybe so you can like, get used to doing it yourself. It's however you want the lines. If you want to use paint tool aside, that also works, but... Yeah. I'm too stupid to use size, so... I stick with Photoshop. You know with Photoshop it gets more complicated, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, right now it's going through super fast just to just to get it done super quickly, I guess. You'll see me pause for a moment because I was actually doing this while I was at work, so I was kinda busy today. Talking to people, you know. Do my job also while I make a video tutorial. So basically, the line art is phase one of your essay style stage, I guess you could say. There's some parts that are tricky, you'll see me like redo a couple of things and sometimes when I line art I actually fix up the drawing a little bit sometimes the crap on it looks like all crappy to me or wonky so I decided to fix it up like this thumb here looked off to me so I just try to fix it a little bit not a lot just a little bit the nose I actually got pretty lucky with but yeah But once you get done connecting everything there, you can now start a new a new shape with the line tool. And you can start from the inside. Like here. It's just a lot of patience and stuff, you know, like the basic tools and stuff you gotta learn. I remember it used to be super fast to do back in like my old days when I used to do artwork. Cause I remember freaking using the polygon lasso tool. So much clicking, but it got the liner done fast, even though it was all bumpy and like sloppy, but it still came out alright. I might actually redo one of the images I did back then. But yeah, you could also disable your sketch layer. Just so you can see where the line tools are sometimes to help you out. Yeah, as you can see I skipped the I skipped the ear for now. Just doing this to show you guys the, the basics, I guess you could say, and I keep repeating myself, I know I do, but alrighty.
I'll see you guys in the second phase, the basic coloring. Just keep on watching, maybe you'll figure out how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. All right, this is phase two, which is basic coloring, base layers. I have my layers layered out like base. Next layer above it, shade, which makes the shade layer mask to the base. And you do the same thing with the highlight layer, but you have that normal shade layer multiply. So basically you just go to your line art, select the areas, then just add your base. You'll hear several doo doo stuff because I forgot to mute the audio for this on my computer. But yeah, let's just get on with it. I use the the line tool to freaking do the highlights and stuff, just like I do my liner. But I'll show you in a bit. So just watch closely and enjoy. All right, now, after you get your base all finished, go to your highlights. You select your base with the magic wand, then you use the pen tool. Then you just put the highlights wherever like that. Don't be stupid like me and put in the wrong color. Use the brush tool or however you want to do it, dodge, whatever. Just gently stroke it. That sounds wrong, but totally just gently stroke it till you get it the way you just want. And right here, as you can see, I mess up, so I make a new layer and delete the old highlight layer. Basically, you just do it like this till you get your image completely colored. My tutorial is probably not helping you that much, but yeah, it's just the basic stuff that I do. I probably make it look too complicated for you guys, because I'm kind of artsy like that, I guess. 
And we just continue doing that with your selected base layer while you're on your highlights, adding the highlights to the color of the base you are currently doing. In my case, green. But remember, always put the lock transparency on if you want to do the brush thing like that. Here you see me just put the colors that's just so I could easily switch between so I could just finish doing the green on toxic. The dark green that's right there is for the shading and you'll see me shade in a little bit. Alright, just keep watching. Enjoy this too. Also enjoy the music. I just picked whatever I had on my hard drive at the moment. So yeah. Alright, time for the shading. Have your base color selected again. But this time, click on your shading and make sure it's set to multiply. I'll show you here, I accidentally shaded that before actually doing this. I was recording this in parts, but anyways. Yes, just get a big brush, normal dark color on the multiplier layer, which is the shade simple you could even do the burn tool if you want on your base I it doesn't matter on how you do it with your picture because it's your image but in the end it'll all turn out to be Sonic Adventure style and I just realized my voice is boring but oh well So yeah, just continue with this. You could even use the swatch colors like that, like I did like before you start. That way you could easily just swatch between the colors that you want to work on. As you see, I only have like three layers. Top layers, line art, and those layers right there. So, yeah. Alright, this is probably either the last highlight thing I'll do and the last shading. So I can't remember because I did this earlier, but I'm completely done with this image now. So now you have your... You make a new layer. It's like your second shade. This, this part is optional if you want. It's just to make it look like Sonic Adventure 2 style adventure art. But make sure you have it the same color, because I messed up there. I actually had it with green when I filled it in. I didn't notice that until I went to the layer and switched it back to gray. But the new multiply layer, the colors for it are 98, green 98, and blue 98. Which should give you like a dark gray color that you just use to fill in for the extra shading. So yeah, just watch this, enjoy. Sorry if it's a crappy tutorial, but it's something, I guess you could say. Alright, this is Pachuca. I'm out. The end image will be the completed one. And the usual, please look the video shit that I have at the end. So thanks for watching. Again.
If you like, if you want to see more, comment, let me know. Message me on DA or whatever and I'll make a better tutorial if I can. But yeah, just enjoy.